What's going on guys? It's your boy Renaz here. And today I actually have an invention that I made a few years ago. It's basically just Wolverine claws that sprout out. But I think it's really cool and apparently I thought it was really cool earlier because I decided to remake them. The reason I had to remake them instead of just to get the ones that I made earlier was because those are in Detroit and I'm back in Orlando. So no old Wolverine claws for me. Out with the old, in with the new. Also, I'm sorry it's really dark right now. I, I, if I move my computer, it's plugged in right now and it's gonna die. So, sorry. I think if I just, quick. Is this better? Hi. You can see me, but it's, you know, at this point, it doesn't really matter. It does not. Anyways, before I show you it actually, you know, going up and down, I need to talk about a few things. Number one, I noticed something when I was looking at these things up like earlier <laughs> I was trying to see if anybody else did this nobody did it seems like everybody's just trying to focus on it being strong and sharp those are the two first priorities and then making it come out is the third and last priority of course I'm not doing that I'm 15 still with my parents and they love me so they don't want me getting hurt so why I'm not playing with pyrotech right now number two I'm pretty sure I did a video on this a few years ago I was in my dad's car, I was wearing a purple shirt, I remember this very, very vividly. I basically just showed it off, it was, that was pretty much it. I don't think I got into the mechanism on that one, so let's talk about that. Ooh, that segue was smooth. This is the mechanism, it's basically just a rubber band, but this is not a rubber band actually. This is like some elastic string or elastic, you know, thing for like, if you have like beach shorts, it's the thing that's in there. I found it in the house, like, on a pair of V-shorts that I don't wear anymore. So, this was perfect timing. Because I actually was looking for a rubber band, and this is better than a rubber band. Because it's gonna last longer than a rubber band. The elastic string is basically just taped to these three little things right here. And those are the blades. These are the things that shoot out. Basically just utilizes simple physics. Because if you pull an elastic, it's gonna wanna go back to its original shape. But as you keep the grip on the elastic, it has the potential energy to go back, right? So once you let the elastic go, that uh, the potential energy transforms into kinetic energy, allowing it to go back. Second word for the trait there. Potential, kinetic. Potential, kinetic. So what you do is you put it around your fingers, right? And then you put these in between your fingers. And now that's potential energy on the elastic band. Can you see that? Yes. Potential energy on the elastic band. So once you loosen your fingers, uh, kinetic, and since these things are attached, they spread out. Because since it's moving up, it makes the thing sprout upwards. So, duh. Basically how it works, I'm just gonna show it off now. <laughs> um, let's just do the... Wolverine movie against Deadpool. Who made Deadpool a video? Anyways. Oh, gosh. Um. One second. Let me just fix this. Alright. Three, two, one. Check that out. <laughs> cool. I can't get them back in because we don't have a way to do that. We can do it like this with our hand, but it's always manual. But, yeah. Those are my... Wolverine claws. Oh, I I need to fix that too. But those are my Wolverine claws. I can pull on it like that to get it back out. Or I can do this. Push it on the top. Get it back out. Just like that. Pretty simple. Yeah, that's it. Um, thank you for making it this far, even though it's only like four minutes into the video. Uh... If you want to see more of the adventure that I made, I should probably make a series on this. If you want to see a series on this, comment down below. I'm going to call it, uh, Mini Inventions? Mini Inventions? Short Inventions? Short Inventions! Because the amount of time that took to make this invention was really short. It was like a few minutes. I made this in a few minutes. I just needed to find the material and then I just made it. It wasn't that easy. So, yeah. That is it. If you want to know what this is, I almost forgot. If you want to know what these are, 
this. It's just this part of the hanger. And I just cut three hangers and put it on my hand. Yeah, that's that's all this is. It's just three hangers pieces. Put it onto my hand that's proud of. That's it. If you want to build this, go ahead. I do not care <laughs> whether or not you build this. I'm not going to be mad. So, you can go ahead. I'm going to sign off now. Goodbye.